My name is Malcolm McCallum. I'm the project curator at the Anatomy Museum. The Anatomy Museum here at the University of Edinburgh is unique because of its association with the university itself. You have to remember in the second half of the 18th century, following the decline of Leiden but before the rise of Paris, Edinburgh and this university was the place to come to um, get your medical education. It was one of the, the places that you would come to study medicine. And the fact that we have artefacts associated with that golden time um, for medicine and the kind of European Enlightenment makes us a really important museum. The history of the Anatomy Museum is quite an interesting one. Originally, um, this was a new building for anatomy. They'd outgrown their former premises in the old college and student numbers had really put such a pressure on the um, existing facilities and space. So in 1880, they opened the building. Four years later, they opened up a museum. And it was a spectacular museum. It was built on three floors and it had huge whales hanging from the ceiling and all around, it was very bespoke, all the furniture was made individually for it. The cases were made for the museum to show certain specimens, as were the tables and the chairs. It was quite a unique and um, pretty special um, place that was built. If you visit us here at the Anatomy Museum, what you will see is 300 years of anatomy teaching in Edinburgh and it's um, all the artefacts associated with it. But there's obviously some key objects which I would um, highly recommend you come to see. The main one you may have heard of is William Burke, one half of the Burke and Hare um, duo who supplied cadavers to the Edinburgh Medical Schools. Um, very important, we have a lymphatic specimen which shows a dissection and lymphatic system dating back to the 1790s. We have the last person in Scotland to be hung um, and given to the university for medical dissection. We have a wonderful array of um, medical models, anatomical models from around Europe and the world. We also have a fantastic phonology collection which shows death masks and life masks of the famous, the infamous and everybody else. So I'd thoroughly recommend you come to see that.